What is up guys, welcome back to the podcast. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, we're gonna be doing an update to the Virginia Roberts versus Prince Andrew case, specifically when it comes to the issue of depositions and whether Prince Andrew and other parties will be deposed uh, in this case. So now I think we have a definitive answer. Basically, everybody is going to be deposed, including Virginia Roberts and Prince Andrew. That's what it seems like right now. In the future, Prince Andrew might try to get out of it, but we'll go over, we'll go into that more in a second here. So I made a video about whether Prince Andrew will be deposed back in August. We didn't have a definitive answer back then, but it seems like we have one now. And that is because uh, there was a pretrial conference that took place where the parties discussed the potential of how many depositions are going to take place during the trial. And we have some exact details on this. Uh, so this was a phone call that took place on uh, the 3rd. They had a teleconferencing about the some of the details of the uh, pre-trial process, and they discussed depositions in the beginning of the call. So I'm going to give you guys some details from the phone call. So the judge here, the presiding judge, is uh, Judge Lewis Kaplan, as we've discussed before. And and uh, the first one of the first questions that he asked was, what do you anticipate in terms of the number of depositions and identities? And attorney David Boyce answered that they anticipate doing about eight to 12 depositions uh, in the case in the pretrial process. And um, they said certainly the parties involved are going to be deposed as well. So that's Virginia Roberts, who's suing, who's a plaintiff, and the other parties that defended, uh, who is uh, Prince Andrew. So both of them are going to be deposed according to Boyce. Now, it, it should be mentioned that according to the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution, Prince Andrew can say that he doesn't want to answer any questions if he fears uh, self-incrimination. So that does still exist. As you guys may remember, Ghislaine Maxwell continually took the Fifth Amendment in certain uh, certain aspects of her deposition when certain questions were asked that she didn't want to answer. So that can be done. So you can, he can decide not to answer any of the questions. He has to show up for the deposition if he's summoned, but he doesn't have to answer any of the questions. He can just keep taking the fifth and all the questions. So even if Prince Andrew does show up for the deposition, he doesn't have to answer uh, certain questions that might uh, be seen as self-incriminatory. Just note that just for the record. And uh, David Boyce went on to say that he will be deposing people from across the pond uh, from the UK and uh, letters rogatory will be necessary for that. Letters rogatory are a way that one country's uh, legal system or judges can demand a party from another country be compelled to testify when there is an absence of a treaty or some other official way of uh, compelling testimony, right? So as they explained right here, letters rogatory are the customary means of obtaining judicial assistance from overseas in the absence of a treaty or other agreement. Letters rogatory are requests from courts in one country to courts of another country requesting the performance of an act, which if done without the sanction of the foreign court could constitute a violation of the country's sovereignty. So there are laws in all countries that prevent their citizens from being targeted by other countries. So this, this, these letters are a way of giving permission to the legal system of one country, in this case, the U.S., to demand, um, in this case, depositions of citizens of another country, in this case, the U.K. So in this case, it would be the Southern District of New York, the Federal Circuit, a Federal Circuit judge requesting a deposition from a citizen of the UK that's relevant to this case. OK, so that's what letters of rogatory are used for. And uh, Andrew Brettler's side also said that they anticipate having a similar number of depositions, so around eight to twelve, just like uh, just like Virginia Roberts' side, and uh, and he brought up the fact that he's looking into a new federal lawsuit that's that's been filed by a woman named Rena O, who used to be with Jeffrey Epstein, who has filed a defamation suit against Virginia Roberts because she claims that Virginia Roberts lied about her and called her a co-conspirator of Jeffrey Epstein when she's actually a fellow victim. Now, I'll be making a separate video on this Rena O woman who's a piece of work. And uh, according to her own words in a podcast, she herself admits that she brought girls to Jeffrey Epstein. So she's not a victim from her own testimony. And I'll be outlining that. She actually is a co-conspirator of Jeffrey Epstein, but she's arguing that somehow Virginia Roberts defamed her. Now, 
I don't like the way that Regina Roberts speaks on Twitter. She sounds a lot, very QAnon and conspiratorial. But nevertheless, I looked at the uh, podcast on which this Rena O woman appeared. And in her lawsuit, it's just a list of Regina Roberts' tweets about how she's defamed their client, Rena O. So I looked at that. I actually read the complaint right before making this video. I also read the transcript of Rena O's um, podcast, a podcast where she appeared. I think it was called Broken. And she talked about how she didn't think that 17 years old was uh, a child. She thought that it was perfectly fine for 17-year-old girls to do what they were doing with Jeffrey Epstein. She was perfectly comfortable with the arrangement that, that she had back in the day with Jeffrey Epstein. So, this this woman, from all the evidence, seems like she was she was not a fellow victim, but a co-conspirator. Okay, that's my analysis. But anyways, Andrew Brettler is is basically threatening kind of Virginia Roberts' lawyers by saying that he's looking into this case with Arena O, which is taking place in uh, the Southern District of New York with Judge Naomi Rice. And uh, that case is also proceeding. Maybe I'll cover that one as well because I'm interested in seeing what happens. Andrew Brettler also went on to uh, insult Virginia Roberts by claiming that all she's doing with these lawsuits are just trying to get money. So he's basically attacking her in a similar way that Alan Dershowitz is attacking her. And uh, he went on a tirade in some of his letters talking about this, but I'm not going to go into that. It's old news. This is the same attack that they always have. But anyways, getting back to the subject of this story, um, Prince Andrew will be testifying either as as a uh, subject of a deposition or as a witness during the trial. Now, even though the Fifth Amendment does give you the right to not incriminate yourself uh, in a criminal action, uh, in a civil suit like this, the uh, the plaintiffs can the plaintiffs' lawyers can actually call the defendant as a witness. Okay, so in this case, he was there with Virginia Roberts when the alleged crimes were committed. So, technically speaking, it would be legal for David Boyce to call um, Prince Andrew as as a witness during the trial if he refuses to give a deposition and answer questions because as long as somebody was a witness to a crime they can be called up to testify okay so he ha he will have to take the stand either uh, during the trial or he will have to face a deposition. Either way, he's going to have to speak during this trial. So he can't just avoid everything and live in Britain, which is what he would like to do. But that's not going to be what's happening here, okay? All right, guys. So that's all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, and press all so you can get my future videos. And if you like my content, you've been watching for a long time, and you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. There'll be a link in the end of the video. You can also support me by joining channel memberships down below by clicking the blue join button. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. As always, peace. Inhabitants of Pinch Trees. This is Judge Dredd. In case some people have forgotten, Mama is not the law. I am the law. Mama is a common criminal, guilty of murder, and as of now, under sentence of death, any who obstruct me in carrying out my duty will be treated as an accessory to our crimes. You have been warned. And as for you, Mama, judgment time.